Hello and welcome to another episode of the Adobe Creative Suite Podcast. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at something actually one of my colleagues asked me about and it was we were at a meeting and we were showing some Photoshop tips and tricks and uh, he said, well how do you correct yellow teeth or teeth that are just too yellow and you want to brighten them or lighten them? And of course there are all kinds of techniques to make eyes lighter and teeth brighter, but brighter doesn't necessarily remove the yellowing. So that's what we're really going to focus in on this particular uh, episode. So let's uh, go ahead and jump in. I've got a stock photo here. And we're just going to go ahead and zoom in on the teeth area. And uh, again, her teeth are yellow, just a little bit yellow. And it could just be a yellow cast on the photo overall. But let's pretend for a moment that we just want to get rid of the yellow teeth. Now, to do this, we first have to select them. So I'm going to use uh, the Quick Select tool. And we're just going to go ahead and just start selecting teeth. Now, of course, Quick Select uh, doesn't know that I just want teeth, so it's starting to grab too much. So I can go ahead and hold down my Option or Alt key and refine that selection a little bit and have it focus in on just the teeth area there. And where it missed some down there and maybe grab too much on the lips there. So it'll take me a few moments to kind of get the selection dialed in where I want it to be. And uh, in this case, it really won't do too much damage to grab some of the lip there, but we'll go ahead and try and clean that up as best we can. All right, so we've got uh, a good selection on the teeth. Uh, we've got, um, you know, some of the background area there inside the mouth, but that's fine because that part we can't really see anywhere because anyway, because it's dark. So we really got a good selection around the teeth. Now you can continue going up a little bit more on the gums if the gums are yellowing too. But uh, I'm just going to concentrate on just these areas right in here. All right, so now that we got our selection, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're just going, we can do it with an adjustment layer or we can do it straight on. So I know a lot of you like to work and be able to go back and make changes uh, if you need to. So I'm going to, I'm going to do what you like to do and that is make an adjustment layer. So we made an adjustment layer and that adjustment layer automatically masked the area that was selected. So that's why your selection went away. Now, we don't want to adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness for everything on the teeth. What we really want to do is switch to just the yellows. We're going to let Photoshop do the work for us. So now that we're on just the yellows, we can just desaturate the yellow out of the teeth. So now our teeth are getting brighter versus yellower. There we go, exaggerating. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh my God, demon. And that's kind of where we start it. And we just take it down to a comfortable level to where the yellow is gone. Now, of course, you know, all teeth aren't perfectly white. So you might want to leave a little in. You don't want to go too far. But that's just a simple trick, simple technique to get rid of the yellows. Now, if you, if you want it to also brighten them, go back to master. And you can just lighten them up. Now, again, we got more selected there. So we don't want to go too far. But you might want to adjust that just ever so slightly uh, to make it just a little bit brighter. Okay, maybe even a, just a plus one or plus two. But there you go. So that is one way to take care of uh, yellowing teeth is just to simply remove the yellow from the teeth. And therefore, you'll be left with the non-yellowing. Uh, the next thing is that people ask me about is, well, what if there's a gap in the tooth? So we're going to just you know, go a little bit beyond what the customer or what my colleagues asked me about uh, the yellowing and I'm going to take it up a notch. So let's, uh, let's get rid of that adjustment. I don't need to keep it. I'm not going to go back and adjust it, but you may, oh, you know what? Let me keep it because a lot of you are, oh, freak out. No, don't get rid of the layer. I might need that later. So let's, so let's do this. Let's do a, uh, a new layer via a group. So we just basically told it to create a new layer composite of those two. And that was command option shift E to do that or PC control alt shift E to get that uh, extra layer. So that layer really is the composite of the uh, stuff we did down below. So we always have the stuff down below to get back to if we ever need to. All right. So now to make the gap go away, the teeth need to be closer together. And if we move these teeth closer together, then we're going to create gaps on the other sides of them. So we have to kind of fake it. Uh, we're not dentists here. We're not going to be able to fill this in the way we really want to, as a dentist would, but we're going to do the next best thing. 
So I'm going to select uh, these two teeth, but I'm going to select them separately. So we're just going to do a quick selection of that tooth and maybe get a little bit more up there. And uh, once I get that quick selection, I'm going to hit Command J on the keyboard to duplicate that onto its own layer. So that tooth is on a layer by itself and we can name that layer left tooth. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go back to layer one, and we're gonna click on the right tooth. And just make sure we got that right. We're using quick select to select it. And again, command J, and we can call this one right tooth. All right, so now that we got the we got both teeth on their own layer, um, we're just gonna kind of meet, meet them halfway in between, making each one just a little bit bigger to kind of close the gap. We're not going to close it completely because she does have gaps other places. I mean, she's a kid. So we're not going to close them completely. We're just going to reduce it. So let's start with the left tooth. We're going to hit Command T on the Mac to go to Free Transform, Control T on Windows. And we're just going to make that just a little bit wider. That's it. So just make that tooth a little bit wider than it was. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to Right Tooth. Command T, and we're gonna go back the other way, making that tooth just a little bit wider than it was. There you go. So if we zoom out, they look natural. Now that tooth on the right might be a little too big. You might wanna make that a little smaller, but you get the idea. Uh, if we had just walked up to this photo and hadn't seen it before, we would think, oh, she's got nice white, non-yellow teeth that don't have a big gap in the middle. <laughs> so that is how we would do that. Uh, just one of the quick techniques to take care of teeth. So I hope you enjoyed this fixing teeth episode. Thanks again. My name is Terry White. We'll catch you next time.